Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. Today I want to talk about a risk management exercise with a real trade that I currently have on BlackBerry. I'm long BlackBerry. We're also long BlackBerry in the Steady Trader Trade Alert service that you can access at steadytrader.com. Um, and basically what that BlackBerry has done here is after falling uh, off a cliff here for a long time, it ultimately made a lower low uh, in um, December 2013 versus its lows. Uh, the the year prior, but from a, from a uh, momentum uh, perspective, this lower low was not confirmed by momentum. In fact, momentum started going higher. So you had a first good reference point. Then the stock continued to slowly move higher, make uh, higher lows uh, one after another. And ultimately, the stock started trying to push against this resistance area, which which, which ranged anywhere from, say, $10.80 all the way up uh, to about $11.60, $70. Uh, cents or, or thereabouts, and the, the, the stock continued to try to push past this area every time it failed. Ultimately, finally, now it's actually breaking above. We also have support of news flow that, of course, is causing the stock to move in the right directions. From a risk management point of view, what we have is a, a gap that dates back, a big down gap that dates back to June 2013 as an ultimate price target out here, somewhere near 14, 50, 15 bucks. Now it's a it's a weak risk management strategy. You just kind of put play the lottery and 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 keep the whole position on um, and let it ride up to this profit target. What you want to do in order to reward yourself is take some profits along the way. So on the first real full meaningful breakout attempt uh, or or successful break break breakout move, uh, you want to take some profits. So I've already taken about a third profits in this stock and I'm looking to take more profits along the way. I'm also going to raise the stop at the same time, try to move that stop to my break even point so I have a free trade as quickly as possible but without taking the stop too close so I don't get whipped out of the trade in case the stock reverses. Um, at the same time, it's also important to understand that if by taking profits, you you sort of mentally reward yourself for having gotten a, a trade completely and utterly correct. But if the stock were to reverse right here and I was still in, in the full position, I would ultimately have to give up all the, the profits, maybe even take a loss on a trade that I was totally right on. That really messes with your head. So you want to avoid that. So what you want to do is you want to take profits along the way. At, at some point, the stock will probably consolidate and then go higher again. And that's a point where you can even completely get out of the stock and then get back in once it starts moving higher. As always, if you got any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is SteadyTrader, and I'll see you in the next video.